Avadil Kumar, we are discussing pattern rules. So let me give you a pattern and then we will see how to write rule for this particular pattern. So let's start with one break and then we'll add some breaks to this. Let's say the next stage we have uh, two breaks horizontally placed. Now in the first diagram we have one and then we placed uh, this one on, one on the top and one underneath. So we get this kind of a structure and we'll call this as our uh, model one and this one as our model two. Now the next stage what happens here is that we add another brick horizontally in the center. So what we get here is three bricks here, right? So we get structure which is like this, one, two, and three. So we have three bricks and on top of it we have two bricks also underneath and then one on the top, right? So kind of structured like this. And then we continue with this pattern. We continue with this pattern. Now the question for you is, find the pattern rule. We have to find the pattern rule. This is one. And second one is, we need to find number of blocks in 10th pattern, right? So once you know the pattern rule, you can find the number of blocks in the 10th pattern. So this is a question for you to try. Now for that, we should actually make a t-table and then work it out. Now what do we notice here is that we can count the number of breaks for the three given to us and then we will see how the pattern grows. So here we'll write the pattern numbers and in this side, we'll write a uh, number of uh, blocks, okay. For the first one, we have just one block. For the second one, let's count. One, two, three, four. So we have four. And in the third one, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, nine blocks. Now, how many will be there in the fourth block? That is what you need to see, right? So it's better to sketch and try it out. So in the center, we have four, right? So we have four in the center. So let me just draw one, two, three, and one, four. Now on the top, we'll have three. Kind of it goes up to here. One, two, three. And here also we have going like this. One, two, three. And over them, we have two, right? So from here, center to center, kind of like this, two. And then on the top, one and one at the bottom. Let us count these blocks. So we have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So in the fourth design, we have sixteen blocks. So that is how the pattern is growing. So we do have a growing pattern. So we have a growing pattern. Now we have to find how does it grow. So if we notice then 1 plus how much is 4? 1 plus 3 is 4. And then how do you get 9 from 4? You need to add 5, correct? And then uh, from 9 to 16, we are adding 7. So each time we add one more number. So if you go with this pattern, fifth design should have how many? So to 16, I should add 9. Is that okay? So what do we get? So we get 9 plus 16 is 25. Now does that give you a pattern? Hmm. Let's look for it. Now let's see it from this side. In design number one, we have one block. In two, we have four. In three, we have nine. In four, we have 16. And in five, we have 25. That means it's kind of square, right? Three times three is nine. Four times four is 16. Five times five is 25. And therefore, in the 10th pattern, how many should we have? We should have 10 times 10, 
which is 100 is that okay so that is how we kind of get the pattern right so there are many different ways in which we could describe the pattern now so this becomes a pattern in which we are describing in terms of previous number of blocks we say add 3 add 5 add 7 or two more each time right and here we have an explicit pattern rule so this is good to use so here we'll say that the number of blocks in each design is or we can say is a square of the design number or say square of the design number right so we could say that right or we are what we are trying to say is this number is n we are saying if this number is n then that number is n times n or we could write this as n square n times n is n square right so so design number by itself gives you the number of blocks you can we can also write this rule as uh, design number times itself is equal to number of blocks or some of our students can also write this as if n is the design number then number of blocks are n square so if input is n the output is n square do you see that n times n so these are different ways in which we can describe this particular pattern and i hope that helps this is not a linear pattern here the number of blocks are increasing rapidly right so as the design number increases we get number of blocks which are square of that number right so that is how you can actually write the rule and find the number of blocks in such cases i'm anil kumar and i hope that helps you can always share and subscribe my videos thank you and all the best